Why do we take tentacles with the golem for 3% crit chance? Was it right? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't think I bought them over anything great other than a roll though. Welcome to Loop Hero, the best game ever made. The way this game works is I have a deck of cards. Alright, sorry. I kind of... I want to have at least seven slimes on my starting map, so I'm going to re-roll a couple of times to get that. Possibly. We make a deck of cards. And then we get put on a loop. We go through the loop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's the god run. We go through the loop. We fight the enemies. The enemies drop cards from the deck that we made. Some of the cards are spawners, which make even more enemies. I didn't drop any of those. I dropped some mountains. I won't even bother playing those right now. Um, the path itself is a 5% chance of spawning a slime once a day. And days are up here. We're almost done with day one. We'll spawn some more slimes for us. Still playing Golem? Are we Wittershins as well? Oh damn. It's an 8 slime Wittershins. So far I haven't dropped a single spawner, which is pretty bad. I kind of want to drop spawners. That's how you get stronger. Significant content update to the game. I think there is some sort of quality of life thing at some point. But no, not really. Are there different characters? There are three characters. The game has a story and meta progression. The meta progression is tied to the story. Does Spinward versus Wittershins actually matter? No. No, it doesn't. It's just, uh, you know, it's something to get excited about. I have not dropped a spawner yet. Okay, a spider cocoon. I can spawn some spiders. Let's put this here. You didn't beat the first boss after 15 runs of meta progression. Couldn't beat the boss, so you never open game again. Uh, I am attempting to beat the boss on the first run. That's what this challenge is. I found I have found four Gladius. Thank you, game. That's, that's great. Really good stuff. All right, I think we can reset instead of wasting our time, probably. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes you get lucky. I just need one vampire mention, really. Gladii? What? Battlefield doesn't do anything. Battlefield makes creatures which have souls turn into ghosts sometimes, which is why it's in our deck, because it can make more enemies for us. The idea of the deck is to make lots of enemies, because by killing enemies we get drops and get stronger, right? Um, but I haven't made any enemies with souls yet, because I haven't dropped any spawners, so this just doesn't do anything at the moment. If I get all the way around to the cozy camp again, it will spawn a chest for me. Sneaky Emily. Oh my god, so many level 1 weapons. I actually think like one vampire mention from the spider and I'm not dead. Cemetery. Cemetery spawns skeletons. Strangely, I believe skeletons have souls, which certainly says something about graveyards. Vampirism to heal a bit. Very deliberately not equipping a weapon because I want to give enemies as long as possible to spawn, so I want my fights to take longer. So many level 1 weapons. Wow.
All right, you know what? This run wasn't it. So the tricky thing is every loop, the enemies get stronger. So you want to make sure that you are getting stronger as you go through a loop as well, which means you want to fight lots of enemies as you go through a loop. Wittershin, six. Nah, let's, let's go for seven. Actually, there are three right at the start. I'll give it a go, because there are three right at the start. It means that if I drop the spawner, it has a long time to make enemies as I go around the map. Okay. All right, I see you. Yeah, time still progresses in combat, although I think it's slower when we're in combat. And the spider spawner. I'm putting it here. It's next to two road tiles instead of three. What I'm hoping is that I find a vampire mansion and put it right here, and it gets vampire mansions add a vampire to your fights, if they're adjacent to the fight. So we've got a spider to spawn here, a spider to spawn here, and then there are these two slimes already. That ends up being a lot of extra vampires, which is a lot of extra um, enemies to kill, which is a lot of extra loot drops, which is what I want. Shark aside! tried imitating Jorbs and got a four looper once in 50 tries. I don't think that's that bad. I think that's probably about right, maybe? I'm, I'm sure I'm sure you were making mistakes which you could have been improved on. Um, but, I mean, it doesn't feel super wrong to be getting one in 50 tries. It's a rat wolf. I got some spawners. If I beat the boss, is that it? There are four bosses. If I beat the boss, we will go to Expedition 2, where I will be able to spawn the second boss. And all of the enemies will be buffed in a variety of ways. But also I will get some better progression between now and Expedition 2, so I'll be buffed as well. Do we want harpies? Hunt on our equipment. We probably don't want goblins. Could spawn a skeleton. Battlefield here, I think, because this is where my enemy with souls, with a soul is. And these rat wolves can wander to the tiles next to the wood as well, so we'll get the battlefield making as many ghosts as possible this way. Imiqueeb! Alright, the skeleton is gonna beat me up a bit. It's okay though. I have a regen ring. I have pretty good defensive items. So I'm okay with just letting this fight take a while. Whoa, that looks fancy. Don't really do anything, but it has more defense on it, so I can delay the fights even more. The boss spawns from us playing tiles. Once this fills up, the boss will spawn, so I want to time that appropriately. Boss spawns where the campfire is. You're making peaks from rots not the strat you thought it was. At the moment, I don't have enough to make a peak anyway. 
but I am working on making a mountain peak. The mountain peak is a 3x3 three three of rocks and mountains. Concerning lack of vampire mansions, yeah, we've got other stuff. It's unfortunate that all the spiders spawned in the same place. Makes for a semi-challenging fight. I'm trying to make a mountain peak right now to spawn more enemies, because I think I'm strong enough to want enemies. I just don't have quite enough spawners yet. Okay, we got a vampire match on. I'm gonna slap that down right here, I think. Get three vampires on these three slime fights. Seems decent to me. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Goblin Captain, where I wanted to put a vampire mansion. So for every ten uh, mountain or rock tiles you place, you get a goblin camp. And this one is very much in the way. It's okay. Kind of. It's not really okay. It's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of not okay. Let's put this here so I get one more vampire fight. Because the spider will spawn here and that'll be one more vampire. I might have to actually equip a sword now. We'll see. Uh, I think it's fine. I tried asking it politely to move. The thing to do would be to oblivion it. There's a card which just blows up a tile, but I don't have oblivion in my deck because I want to make sure that I have as many spawners as possible in my deck. Okay, I'm going to equip the shield. It does two damage to all, so it will massively increase my damage speed. But it also has more defense on it. I'm starting to lose health. We don't really love losing health. I've made a mountain peak, which will spawn a harpy every two days. I'm going to start making some treasuries up here, which I can open later. I don't have a sword, so equipping one would be impressive. Wait, what? How do I... How do I not have a weapon yet? Huh. Well then. That is some abnormal RNG. I have a battlefield here already. Put another one here. I don't really want a battlefield on the goblins. The goblins are hard to kill. Goblins are going to be a hard fight every time I go through there. And there are three tiles with goblins on them. I did get all of the swords last run. True. Actually true. I still don't have a sword. Uh, I could trade shields. Deal less damage, but have now. I want my damage, probably. Vampires number two. Where do I put this? Just here, probably? It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It hasn't been a major update to the game for a while. I am kind of taking 150 damage this fight, it looks like. What if somebody dropped a weapon? Thoughts? Any weapon droppers?
we don't get a hurt stick or toast. That sounds correct. What about a meadow, though? Would a meadow help? The world's first weaponless war expedition victory. Hard to believe that you're here to see it happen, but you are. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the chest will have a weapon in it. What are chests for if not weapons? Weapon having. Yeah, a weapon. Pretty good weapon too. Uh oh yeah. Let's equip this. Chests are usually for holding in your blood and organs. What? Good point. Stop! Wow, this is actually my first time meeting goblins. I'm still on loop 2 only. It's kind of wild. Like a better ring than my 0.6 regen. You love this game, but you never got the hang of tile placement. God, you've got the chance to watch how I do it. I wouldn't say that I've, like, really optimized tile placement. Some of the stuff I just put down because I think it looks nice, to be honest. Built the sign, thanks for the raid! Hope you're doing well. Ooh, a counter. So I don't really have any enemies spawning in this part of the loop, unfortunately. Let's put a vamp mansion there. That seems obviously good. my vamp shield now? It would slow me down a little bit, and it would heal me a little bit. Seems okay. Uh, we want to make sure that all the tiles with vampires on them are getting fights. Hard to guarantee that. The spider cocoon here helps down there a little bit. I just do this. I'm just gonna do this. It's very mediocre. But it does immediately give me another fight with a vampire on it, I assume. As long as the spider spawns from there before I get there. Looks like it will. How far have I got in the new hero? There's an end, and then there's also stuff you can do after that end. over there, sure. I did get the spider spawn. We have a harpy. Harpy hits you pretty hard. Why do I deal any damage? Because I'm changing focus constantly, probably. Yeah, because counter makes you change focus. Counter's kind of actively hurting me at the moment. To stop having counter. We 
had no idea Counter did that. Seems awful. Yeah, Counter's uh, often pretty bad. Sense. Question is, can I survive until I find some way to heal? Answer is probably no. Health is getting very low here. Four spiders will eat me alive. You think I'll make it that far? Ooh, I got my end of day heal up in meadows there. I feel like it would be an achievement to make it that far right now. Oh, it was a mimic just as well. Wait, my Big Mac! Thanks for the 70 months! So usually we'd bring home some meta progression resources and we would upgrade our town and we would get stronger and everything. However, I am trying to win in four expeditions, so when I die, we just reset. why I'm so good at doing this. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, okay. Wittershins eight. Wittershins eight from the 12. I feel like from the 12 is probably helpful. Uh, not good. There's an abnormal slime drop. My favorite here from this game. Well, Necromancer is the strongest one. Is for expedition a difficulty or an amount of runs? If an amount, what difficulty? Huh? Beat the game on four expeditions. Shop. Did hear them? If I increase the mini Jorb's values above one point oh. I could. Theoretically good. I just decide on four. Well, it's the minimum possible number. So. made a ghost! This is the goal. I am super down for it to keep evading forever. Unlucky. Oh, 
think that's the first ghost I've made this stream. Sorry, state of affairs. I probably should have played these. Play them now. But yeah, I should have played them before I went past the campfire because the campfire gives me a percentage heal. My map doesn't really have any enemies on it. Arlo thinks the prime! I appreciate it. Why do we want ghosts? We want to kill the enemies so they drop things for us so we get stronger. I made a lot of slimes. You've lost the ability to count numbers. What should you do? Maybe go to sleep? I don't know. Your strength is related to loops. from the number. So I want to get as strong as possible every day. Why never spawner? Hello? What if spawner instead of not spawner? Better, no? Is good? Would be good. <laughs> That's a thing in like antiquity turning gear. That's a thing we see in ancient languages. Like a secure old Chinese man. I'm speaking English like me. Ooh. I don't hate stacking regen on loop three. some goblins. I'm doing well, Kane. How are you? No ghosts? 
Where are ghosts? No ghosts. That was unlucky. Ah, uh, that's pretty good. I can continue being stronger than the enemies I fight for a little bit, but it's because there are only six enemies on the map. I think we might have to reset. Magic the Gathering tomorrow. I hope you have fun. How long do you think it will be before Magic the Gathering prints a card? It's called like Jump Shark and it has a picture of a shark jumping out of the water and the flavor text is like, you never know when something will jump the shark. Do you think that'll happen within the next five years? I feel like that's an interesting betting line, actually. I already printed Sharknado. That's true. There's a card they previewed called Loom the Shark. Hmm. Are you doing a D&D campaign today? Nice. Magic the Gathering is still alive. Not really, but there's a thing uh, using the Magic the Gathering IP that prints things that look like magic cards with Marvel superheroes on them. Look up Pouncing Shore Shark. Is this is this actually going is this actually going to be real? Pouncing Shore Shark. Sorry, like you can't. That's a card Caleb got to preview for a choreo. We know when Magic the Gathering jumped the shark. We have sweet shield. We have sweet armor, too. I am currently strong. Like, my gear is good. Spawners just don't really exist, so I'm not able to leverage it into much. Another artist has used stolen work. surprise me. I think we live in a world where artists do that now, yeah. We do have three mansions, that's true. We get some vampires. The gear I have is legitimately very good. Like, I mostly didn't take damage in this fight, which is kind of obscene, considering what the fight was. Very good gear. 
I was slow enough around the loop to spawn two skeletons. Let's see what they drop. The idea of putting skeletons at the start of the loop is that skeletons have the best loot drops, so when you level up all of your drops, you want to get your skeleton drops as quickly as possible so that they can output throughout the whole rest of the loop. Let's do that. There's going to be an end of loop 5 kill if I get it. Probably I just don't get it. But if I do get a win here, we'll be at the end of loop 5. good? Not really. Almost. <laughs> Blasty blue! Slimes. Unfortunately, they spawned on the same tile. It'd be better to spawn one slime per tile next to the Vampire Mansion, but we didn't do that. Is this gonna be better? I don't know. It's kind of good. I will lock it. We can unlock these. We're not using those. At this point, it seems unlikely. actually get this grove to spawn before I walked past it. Whoops. Should've placed it. Should have placed it later in the loop. We want to get the kill on its spawn as we pass it the first time. The kill on its spawn. Pretend that doesn't sound weird. Goblin fight, the goblin fight. Not looking forward to that one. I think I will survive it just fine. That's a bit spooky. Just get this set up for later. This isn't going to spawn fast enough, I don't think. What if this was a stolen Jorb stream? You didn't even notice. How would you notice? Carbon analysis of Jorb's stream shows. Oh, oh it has a counter on it? Why? Why did why did you do that? Wells. I remember when I said this fight would be bad. 
Where'd all my health go? Oh, yeah, okay. Good stuff in the end. Many jobs will steal this. Disaster. I don't need the amp. I don't imagine this is ever giving me a relevant spawn, unfortunately. Because last loop has to be final loop. I suspect I'm just dead. I, I suspect where we are is just dead. Doesn't look like we quite got enough. Seventeen percent evasion. Somehow still not worth having. Are we the baddies? Sometimes. In this game, we are sometimes the baddies. Alright. Skeleton can still drop an obscene item, winning us the game. I'm gonna equip that. I need more sustain somehow. It's not a bad item. It gave me a lot more defense than I had before. Hit it, hit it, hit it. It is a level 6 ring. Unfortunately, it's a type of ring that always has counter on it. The graphic of the ring... The graphic of the item shows you what its first stat is, always. But it doesn't necessarily tell you what the second, third, and fourth stats will be. I think I equipped this. It has 10% counter, and we just hope that I don't roll the counter. Also, though, I have 5 damage to all. With damage to all, counter isn't as bad. Because if you change targets, at least you're still dealing down. Okay, that ring seems better. <laughs> cool. I have a lot of regen now. Um, maybe actually enough regen to build some health. Didn't get many battlefields in the end. Started with some and then they stopped it dropping. This challenge seems tough. It is tough. Counter uh, responds to enemy attacking you by attacking them. Some percentage of the time you get attacked by an enemy. I I will die if I go to loop six. Like there is just no chance that I will survive loop six. So we gotta spawn the boss now. We've got a few more tiles to place, but we should be able to do that. The question is just, do I arrive at the boss fight with? I probably need seven or eight hundred health. So I need my health to go up, upward right now, not downward. It's currently going downward. It looks like I might just die, which will, you know, solve the problem for me. Spawn boss early so we get sick music. I'm not actively trying not to spawn the boss. I would argue that dying is excellent for your health. Hard to have any health issues when you're dead. So I'm looking for a better weapon right now, I think. Like a really good weapon with good sustain on it would be the drop that I need. Is it ever good? It has 11% vamp. I think we have to. We have to hope it's good.
but I don't want to die, Twitch chat. Unlucky. Just a bit slow at the start, I think. You get when you open the treasuries? Mostly meta progression resources. A few cards. Cards and equipment. But I mostly have them there so I can get enough meta progression resources to uh, win the next run. You have to win all four on one life. Well, I'm trying to win in four expeditions, and if I die, I will not be able to win all four on four expeditions. Because I will have to do more expeditions. Five. Disgusting. Disgusting. Get it out of my sight. I don't even want to think about it. for six, seven, or eight slimes. Ideally seven or more. I'll only play six if I get good ones at the start. Which of the four expeditions is the hardest? The first one. These slimes greater than seven? Ow. 25, maybe? 30, something like that. I have done this before, so have other people. Skeleton. this game to be faster than it is, to be honest. It is too bad that it's bugged a little bit. Let's put this here. Let's put it here. <laughs> A vampire. Yeah, the first one you can get a good start and still lose. The second, third, and fourth, if you get a good start, you usually win. But if you get a bad start, you will still lose. Even with a bad start, you can sometimes win the second, third, and fourth. The requirement in terms of luck for winning the second, third, and fourth on your first attempt at them is much lower. No doubt, thanks for the year! Appreciate it. This goes here, maybe? Or here? 
Here would make sense to combo with the vampires. I can wait to place it, I guess. It's not incredible. It's decent, though. It's fine. Gives me a little bit of help. Other sign asked how many times I've won like this before. I think once. Pretty sure once. I think I came very close another time. Couldn't quite put it together in the end. Harder to go infinite. Wow. I have never tried. No ghost. Bad. I don't love the way that the path has all of these 90 degree turns. I feel like it actually makes it kind of hard to place spawners where you want. Start spawning goblins. Now I need one more. I don't want to kill things faster, is why I don't have a weapon. my treasuries. It's fine. Doesn't really matter. Okay, we're now spawning harpies and goblins, for better or worse. Take tons of damage here. That's gonna be like 50. Taking 50 is okay. Wonder if that's better or not. I don't really know. I already have decent defense stack. It's probably better. There's an experience in this expedition, but once I unlock it with meta progression, there will be. I don't know, being more than 50 health, just barely. I think losing the defense was pretty bad, actually. Mm, damn. It's really hard for me to judge how good defense is. Are there? Quite a lot. Uh, I don't love this. Might just die to these skeletons. made a spreadsheet of how effective defense region vamp is on each loop number. Too many variables. <laughs> All of that's dirty. Oh, that's absolutely disgusting. Um...
I don't even want to equip it yet. I don't think. I didn't die to the skeletons, and I won't die of the sloop, I don't think. Not with that sword. This is a defense uses differential equations game. Except they're not differential, they're like even weirder. I don't know, maybe they are differential. I haven't looked at them in a while. There are two of them, there's, there's more than one equation for defense. does 10% of Asian give me? Less than this? Look at the region go. Holy. Here's the really nasty fight. Not awful so far. Yeah, not bad at all. Oh, they're all dead. Well. gained health from the nasty fight because of my meadow heal. Wait, my meadow heal's only 30. Huh. Maybe I actually just gained health from the nasty fight. I did say loop 3 you can regen through. I don't know if this regen's strong enough to get through loop 4 as well. It might be. Usually around about loop 4 there's an inflection point where vampirism becomes more powerful than regen though, in my experience. One thing that I'm behind on is um, spawners. Very strong, but I don't actually have enough enemies to kill. So you can do bottom stats. They become smaller.
The screen kind of uses the real estate very well in this game. There aren't many streamer cam spots. strong through that loop, unfortunately. I'm at full health, but I can't spawn the boss... yet? So the question is, can I spawn the boss and fill these up? I need ten of this. I have three so far. Ah, uh, by the time I get around to the campfire again? Answer, like, probably no? In which case I have to do loop five which is going to be hard. This is not better. Hey, we aim for loop 5. Maybe it's a loop 5 angle. Love running loop five on expedition one. That's gonna be fairly empty. Put my face in the middle of the loop. Sometimes you put stuff there though. Also the fights. Also the fights. Oh, a ghost. I have good boss killing gear. Pure damage on my armor is good attack speed on a ring and evasion. That's kind of the best possible ring for fighting the boss, I think. Up there. Very good. I just don't know if I could even swarm the boss this loop. I need some uh, more tiles. How is this not better? Wild. I'm gonna say it is better. When does the sequel about dogs' noses named Boop Hero come out? Soon, I hope. Maybe that's what Rotato 2 is going to be. to being the selfie. Oh, it's a mimic! I have some items locked because they will be good in the boss fight, but they're not good in these fights. So I have some items locked. percent vamp or 1.8 regen. Feels kind of close. It is minus one defense as well. 
think I will pass. We'll be out this one, the boss. It's just like these resources are not full. I used to have so much health, and now I don't anymore. Weird. One, two, three, four spawners around the campfire. So that means I need to get spawners which can go around the campfire. Let's stop placing other stuff other than meadows right now. Meadows are important, they are helpful. I'll probably place the treasury too. Goblins. Any good? Yes. It immediately evaded. Nice. Point made. So spawning very soon. I might only be able to place three spawners actually. Oh, I think I get four. Close, close then. Uh, holy shit. <laughs> Not taking damage? Hmm. Good choice. This fight? Is it true? It gets 69 HP from the dam. I think I about broke even. That be dead first saved a bunch of HP, believable. Oh, well, I didn't heal in this fight, so. If I can't stop the boss from spawning with two extra things, I can't really fight the boss. The Berserker Hawk! It is a very fun game. Spider spawner. Does that spawn it? No. One more. Well, shit. I can't actually... I don't know. Can I beat it? Here's the thing, even if I beat it, I still have to go in the loop for meta progression resources, so it doesn't even... Yeah, I think I have to uh, go another loop. It'll be hard. Let's 
going to be difficult. The enemies get kind of strong. Also, I put a vampire on my two skeletons. And a spider, apparently. That seems a lot better than what I had before. Where'd all our health go? Yeah, so these are skeletons. It's okay though, because they drop really good loot. Like this. Might actually be better than what I have. I don't know. I don't know. It's close. What's my evasion? Eight. Can go with it. Uh, let's put a battlefield here. It spawns the boss. The boss does not get any mausoleums though, because I had everything surrounded. Now, we have some getting stronger to do. Probably don't want to place more rocks at the moment. Don't need more goblins than I already have, right? This fight looks like it will kill me. I sure don't deal any damage anymore. I sure take 84 when they both attack me. Okay, that is an upgrade. A ghost ghost. This is also an upgrade. Killed in that fight. You would expect me to, though. It was not a difficult fight. I only take 56 now. 67. Is there randomness? I don't think so. I don't think so. Nice puller. I didn't realize this game was on Xbox. 21 defense. That was a lot more defense than what I have. Defense is good against goblins in particular. No! It's gotta be good, I think. That's so much damage. I might be wrong. I feel like sometimes I swap out equipment that's working when I shouldn't in this game. I have not taken that much damage in this fight, though. That was really not bad. Alright, if we can beat the four goblins that well, maybe we're in with a shot. I wish the equipment I used changed my character's cosmetics. I guess that would be a nice a nice addition to the game, sure. Eleven pure let me two shot goblins, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Also I'm like not taking damage. Taking a surprisingly low amount of damage. I guess I just have a lot of defense. What a good strategy.
I have no idea. Do you think 10 defense just like wins me the game? Or is it terrible? It could be either, or somewhere in between. Probably somewhere in between. Seventeen percent down. I think I need the pure damage too much. Kind of looked like I healed him out late. Which is a very, very, very good sign. Big if true. I started this at 415. Under 30? Not bad. Just placing this to get another stone. You want to target the buffed goblin. We are not targeting the buffed goblin. We have left it to last. Which is not the right choice. Wait, I got my 111 HP, and this is my health? Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's pretty bad. <laughs> well... There's a little arrow pointing to my dude. There's a lot of stuff on the map, isn't there? Okay, ghost ghost. No. Oh, we killed the heartbeat last. I'm not targeting well. Here. Not so much. If I was on the top of the map, not at the start of the Hell Gauntlet. Well, that would have been better, wouldn't it? Ooh, I attacked the buffed goblin. Do we go for this? 13% vamp? I lose 11 pure damage? No, 7 pure damage. Pure damage feels good. 
I have damage to all, though. Generally, how I survive loop 5 if I do is vamp plus damage to all. So I feel kind of into the idea of having much more vamp. Let's go for it. That's a bunch of damage to all. It's actually good. It's good. I think we equip it at the start of the next fight, though. Because this way we get a little bit more regen before we get into the next fight. I want ghosts. Oh no, maybe. Having no regen, sure, feels kind of doomed. Ghosts are very good if they spawn. Oh, I actually can't finish this. Yes. Uh, I'm to put that here. Doesn't matter, probably. Looks like I'm already full. Also, I'm dead anyway, so who cares? <laughs> nice, I got another one. Vampire on that. I don't know, maybe not. Let's wait and see. I'm just gonna walk into the final fight and be like, here I am, and then immediately die. <laughs> Unlucky but true. Unlucky but true. It's a better weapon, I guess, because it has evasion on it. Maybe we just dodge every time. Those are trying the darndest, though.
No vampire on this? Guess no vampire on this. Pretty meadow and some mountains. Something like that. I don't know, maybe we win. 411? That's the highest my health's been in a while. Dodge quite a lot of times here. Zero, zero evades. Just zero evades. All right. I needed more like eight. <laughs> that was kind of close to winning. Five, six, seven. Workable. Seventeen percent equals zero. The uh, billionaire tax strategy. I, don't know if I should have placed this. Too much work. So I should have quit the shield. Maybe it only just dropped, actually. I think this one's dead. You genuinely think there's a problem with the bloodstone in Bellatro? Like it's coded wrong? People have read the code in that game. Or like it's morally um, deficient. I'm down for that reading.
think the title says what I'm doing, Alarons, doesn't it? Force you to clear. Yeah, me. And other people, presumably. First expedition's the hardest. Pretty easily, I think. <laughs> Hopefully get some ghosts on this battlefield and it delays the fight long enough for uh Fox to spawn. Oh, it went right. Huge, huge RNG moment. Actually, very large RNG moment. Okay. what that means. Pretty good sword. Don't have any enemies though. Low retro rat. Mr. Up, why are you encouraging people to watch something other than the live show I'm running right now? What? Like, I know it's my video, but. <laughs> hey, Snowball. Hey, Draco Bomb, how are you? It's 
simply launch both Omegle lol. Oof. This is loop two? If this were loop one, I'd be happy. Problem with many drugs, you can subscribe to it with Twitch Prime for free each month. That does sound like a huge issue. I don't have a Skelon Ton yet. I think this one's dead. Oh my god, I definitely have to equip my stuff. I mean, let's equip our stuff. There are a lot of rat wolves I'm about to walk into. They might just kill me. That's pretty good. Maybe I'm okay. Spawn some goblins. Oh, I need one more. Oh my god, it's a Mimic. This tile really wanted to kill me. Uh, where are the goblins? Hey, work a ball. This, this looks kind of dead. They buff goblins. Nope. Looks like three months checking the bowl. Oh, nice. Got a slime spawn on the tile we were standing on. Oh, we got the spider spawn, and then we got the skeleton. And hopefully, something drops me a really sweet item. Otherwise, I just die. Easy game. I don't know if I'll be able to kill the skeleton. It might kill me. Uh, yeah. Better. Crushed it. It dropped me a meadow. Not the item I was hoping for. Dodge. Oh, no, he's for three. Coward. Hit me harder. Uh, multiple goblins. Multiple goblins. I have 20 health. Where rat wolf spawned. Guessing that's okay. Yep, do I have 20? Is that we're good? I guess not right now, because there's only one enemy anyway. But 
now. Hmm. I'm just stuck. Let's let's be real. <laughs> let's, let's be real. Maybe this goes here. Hmm. Let's let's be real. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. The damage doll wins this for me easy. Trust. <coughs> yeah, well. Okay, never mind. Playable, probably. I wish I didn't walk. I'm just wasting ten tiles. We are walking in a loop, crazy man. Maybe we need to try this. I've done it before. It's fun. I'm leaving. Thanks. One, two, three, four, and no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. No weird. This makes me want to play the last spell because the last spell came out at the time that I was playing a lot of Loop Your Own. Sometimes games are connected to other games in my brain. That looks like a good loop. That's eight. Hell yeah. I think there's always between five and eight slimes. One a cemetery. That's a spawner. the wizard school game I played a lot. Oh my god, yeah, Last Spell University. That game was great. And then I finished playing it and had no desire to ever play it again. Like, instantly. <laughs> I went from this game is so cool, holy shit, I am having the best time, to holy shit, I would like to never open this game again in my life. Looking for enough slimes to drop new spawners to make enemies. That's what I'm looking for in map gem. Unfortunately, sometimes the slimes decide not to drop spawners. Because I have two cemeteries. Those are technically spawners. Corn. Oh, 
of that game felt kind of like RimWorld to me. Last Spell University was the name of the wizard game. That is certainly a ring. I certainly don't want to equip that, but it is certainly a ring. Spellcaster University? Oh, okay. Yeah, that seems like maybe what its name actually is. Okay, fair enough. Last spell is a different thing we were just talking about, huh? Um. Sure, could use some vampires. I have not played Subnautica. I played that one other game where you're under the ground, though. Soma? Under the water. Podcaster University announced new content in its Steam announcements. Hmm. It is amazing how much that doesn't make me want to play it more. It's cool. I, I played it... <laughs> I got some playtime out of it. It was fun. Never again. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I feel so strongly about never playing that game again. But I sure do. I do like Stardew Valley. Next Orb of Creation stream. Play Orb of Creation sometime. Counter. That's not what I want. So I'm Subnautica don't have much relation to each other. They're both related to the water. What are you even talking about? Very clear and obvious relationship. myself unimpressed with my second move. Oh. Oh, that is a good ring. That's endgame. That's endgame right there. Goodbye pure damage. Damage to all defense attack speed map. I wish the numbers were higher on it. They're kind of low values, but like, that's pretty good. Is a good shield? It has counter on it, unfortunately. Uh, well, if we have a really good shield with counter on it, maybe we want to aim for... Damage to all more. Huh. Alright, let's try for a loop 5 kill with an empty map. Feels like what I'm set up to do here. My gear's pretty good. Does it work? 
I'm guessing no. I'm gonna go with a no on that. Does an empty map mean that I don't have many spawners? It is less a decision and more a statement of current situation. Which it's pretty good at not spoiling story games. I have spent a lot of energy explaining to people that I do not want them to tell me things about the game that I'm playing. And eventually, that starts to pay dividends. Although it sure takes like two years first <laughs> of seeing the same thing over and over and over again. And someone will be like, but it's okay that I told you things about the game that you're playing. You actually do like it. And then you're like, no. And they're like, well, you should like it, and you're like, no. <laughs> anyway, it's really fun to have that conversation every day for two years. But we got there eventually. I have no desire to stream in emote only mode. <laughs> it's not. Why would I do that? People tell you that you should like backseating? Absolutely. I'm kidding. It is an essential part of any strategy gaming stream, being backseated by some random person. As I have been told several times. Uh, I've heard of Tunic. I have not played it. I haven't really looked at it either. All right, let's make the goblins even scarier. Oh yeah, you don't need any knowledge to backseat me, mitosis. Don't worry about that. Simply suggest random things. Ooh, the counter! Wait, no, it didn't put me on the wrong thing. It put me on the wrong thing. I think I was attacking the the important goblin, and then I countered off the important goblin. Unreal. Unfortunately, this is very poor regen per second. Otherwise, I would be kind of excited about flipping it. Uh, the spawner goes there, maybe. All right, this is loop four. Already? I thought I had already played this. I have already played this. I think this ring's even better. Am I wrong? No, I don't think I'm wrong. Damage, damage to all and bam. Ooh, pretty good ring. I don't know. I have a lot of pretty good gear. I don't have any enemies. Seems to be my issue. This is the first expedition. Uh, I generally would most like to kill at the end of loop. I, do this. I would generally most like to kill at the end of loop four, but that is not 
going to happen here. So we're gonna have to try to kill at the end of loop five. Very, very hard to survive loop six with no meta progression. I could use some armor, huh? Like any sort of armor at all. I look like a very Hava streamer. What's a Hava? Oh, more regen. Okay. You've never gotten enough enemies to kill End of Loop 4 before. I definitely have. I definitely have. I defense. Oh, how good defense is. I wish I knew how good defense is. <laughs> Someday maybe I'll work it out. But if somebody dropped an armor, is this good? Yeah, probably. Exhilarating. Exhilarating fight, to be sure. What does dying do? Well, I need to tell the boss to go to the second expedition, and I need to go for the second expedition after Expedition 1 in order to get to Expedition 4 in four expeditions. Does that spawn fast enough? I don't know. I don't know what. It'll be time to open treasuries already very soon. I only have two of them. Yikes. Number of gabos? We'll be fine. We have 18 defense. They can't touch us. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out. Really, anything could happen. Ooh, nice. It is a lot of goblins. Ooh, we're killing the super goblin first. Huge. Armor? Real armor? Real armor. Kind of. Loses my regen? I don't know. I don't know if that's better. I don't have any vamp, right? I have a little bit of vamp. I could switch to this. This is vamp. Good chance I should, I think. Is it random which mob you target? Mostly, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Wait. Place more of these. Before I walk through the campfire. Got for me another treasury. Ooh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. I 
Which Jorbs is real? Jorbs is so cool. I wish he was real. Wait, is this better? 21 defense. This, uh, the shield I currently have is very good at killing the boss. This is okay. Slows me down. I don't know. Maybe it's wrong. Yeah. No? Maybe? This is all of my bam. Bram bam, thanks for 30, 59 months. 59 months. Thank you, Graham. Just need some sort of sweet item from all these skeletons and we're good. Board the sun, thanks for the eight months. Explain the trinity comments to a co-worker today after watching my turn on poker vid from a few years ago. Thanks for all the content. Hey, you're welcome. Keeping my defense. I got a spreadsheet defense values. Hmm. My health, it's all gone. Your damage, defense, regen, vamp. Yes. Probably. Yeah, time you out. Herpoo, herpoo's cat. You are having a lovely day and that you get that for the first time in your life soon. Is this something good? Probably. Alright, I have some sort of gear. Is it good? Not really. I don't think it's good enough. You know what it's trying? So extremely dead. Just like completely and utterly dead. My gear doesn't feel that bad. Five's just kind of hard. side spawners now and I need to get to 800 HP. Very hard, very hard. Very hard. What if loop six? Probably not. I 
need a health potion. Uh, you can, but not until I have meta progression, which I do not have. Oh. Not it's a mimic. Why? Oh! <laughs> Hold. Hold. Hold on. Kind of unreal. This is only my second battlefield. Your Skeleton attack speed evasion for the final fight. Oh, this is the final fight. Unlucky. <laughs> ah! Okay. Still alive? Any spawners? No? No spawners? Better shield would be nice. <laughs> My health is going upward, by the way. was going upward, by the way. Can't find a spawner. sure I've made it like four times in a row. All right, GG. It was a noble effort. You didn't quite get the loot I needed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and three at the start. Play a ball, maybe. Put it here. Put it here and then just spawn another one immediately. Or you can put it here, but that's so far away. Can we put it here? I want to slow myself down as well, right? slime spawn before I leave its uh, AOE. It could be huge. No luck. No luck. So maybe I've cost myself one vampire in the first loop.
Is loop always the same number of tiles? I believe it is, yeah. I might be wrong. I think I looked at that once, and I don't remember finding out anything that made me key into it, so I'm pretty sure it's always the same number of tiles. But I feel like if it was different, I would like care about how many tiles it was. You can have a different amount of internal space, though, definitely. Damage to all defense attack speed. Eh. Damage to all is starting to feel like a new requirement. Yeah, typically I go regen loop or damage to all and vamp for the rust. And that's how I typically find myself succeeding at these. I do more will I a lot of damage. Oh my god, there are four enemies on my loop. <laughs> I don't want to cry. It is... <sighs> Too bad. Is it doomed and reset? Um, I think this doesn't drop anything. These two fights. These two fights are kind of what I have. Going clockwise, clockwise was wrong? Possibly true. some spiders though. Ooh, another vampire. Nice. Was kind of huge. I forgot where this goes. I think there will be rat wolves here by the time I get there. Could have waited to place it. I deal this damage.
Time for a sword, I think. This is definitely not unplayable. Cool. Another spider in this fight. Spiders drop good, uh, good tiles, though. Couple of metal, med, med, med metals. Whatever. Spiders there, meadows. I still didn't spawn goblins or a harpy in the loop two. Yeah, that's fine. Taking 12 from skeletons. Does damage all have downsides? It can, yeah. It does activate my mix, pretty sure. I mean, it also kills the enemies faster, which can be a downside. Those skeletons! They're fast! Shoot. Actually, really close to having those skeletons too. Resources in my pack do. They're for meta progression. After I beat this run, there are another three to beat still. Uh, yeah? Yep, yeah. okay. Seems decent. Is it putting the challenge unloaded? I would say so, yes. How important is meta progression? Ah, uh, it's the only way you have any chance of succeeding. This is very important. Yeah. Is it better or worse? I'm gonna say better. Probably better against a chest that isn't attacking back anyway. Uh, the drops are from a deck of cards. Or at least... Well, that's a kind of good shield. These ones are from a deck of cards. Decks of cards are kind of pseudo-randomness, if you think about it. Kind of promising. We 
got the pieces. Let's see if we can put them together or not. Depends a lot on the loot these skeletons drop. More like poop, hero! Oh my god. It didn't deserve that. Does my vamp make me 1.8 health per second? 11% vamp. Really doubt it. Right. <laughs> I want spiders on my skeletons, not really. God. Awful lot of the thingamo wants it's here. Our armor finally. Spiders on the goblins to dilute them. I don't have any. I'm putting them on other places. That's better. 12%, 5% more evasion. 2 defense. 1.2 regen per second. I have no idea. I don't think so. Discover. Oh, what stats am I building? <laughs> the, the ones I get given? Mostly. Skeletons is straight up death? Is three skeletons worse than two skeletons and two spiders? I don't think I agree with that take. You sure that I want all my skeletons? Decided to come here. That's not the best place for it to go. Hey, Final violin, how are you? Get some regen going. Maybe that ring becomes good. Vamps. 
shield might be better. I think at this point the shield is better probably. I feel like at this point, this one's largely down to you. Well, loot drops. I've kind of... I've done most of it in this run. Okay, back to thinking again. Well, this ring seems better than the other ring. This here, probably. Like, this should be the last loot. It looks like I need a little bit more in order to get to the boss fight strong enough to win it. That's actually pretty close. Oh, I have no idea. I don't think it's better. I don't think it's better. this game, the more I want to make a simulator for the fights. Let's go regen! Let's go Meadows! 63 HP per day. That's a lot of goblins. Holy shit. Don't take damage. Nice. Simply have plenty defense. Defense counter evasion vamp. I don't think so. Maybe if it didn't have counter on it. Maybe it's my boss fight ring actually. for the boss fight, this is for the boss fight. I need a lot of tiles still. Okay, on top left, HP bar huge, that's mini jorbs. Jorb's kind of a gamer. This is super winnable if I can spawn the boss. I 
could open the treasure ears, I guess. Oh, nice. Now I actually can. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Need four tiles around that still. Ooh, it's gonna be tough. Maybe. Hmm. Wait, that's actually enough, right? Oh, no, no, no. I need one thing there. I can't, though. This spawns it. Oh, okay, I can. He's so rig! Yangs! Why did you say the same thing? Grove or cemetery? Specifically. Grove. Maxed? No. Not quite. Should I have been looking at this stuff? Has it been dying? It's probably not good anyway. It's usually not very good. I need a better shield, actually. Need a better shield. Give attack speed. Or pure damage evasion. That might be good. I think I have gear. Oh, I should have given myself the chance to get another treasury there, I think. This feels wrong in retrospect. You know, I can go another loop, actually. Yeah, I can go another loop and max my meta progression. I think. I don't really see why not. Maybe I'll be dead. That would be a reason why not. Us.
Yeah, I'm probably done. It's close. Evade! Evade! Hell yeah. That's all I needed. Could have won without it. Uh, stone is capped. Three stone, two wood, three rations. Very low rations. So what is this? Attack speed, regen, vamp. Attack speed, pure damage, regen, evasion. Looks good to me. Let's go for it. Does the chatter strategy change now? Uh, I just need to survive this one more loop. I should be able to do that pretty easily, I think. Oh god, that fight is bad. Did I just get another skeleton spawn on two places? Oh, that might kill me. And battlefield? Okay, never mind. My bad, my bad. <laughs> Holy shit. I thought I was fine, and then I walked into this fight. And then we got Omega Ghost and uh, Quadrillion of Aid from the Harpy. <laughs> that went very badly. Went very badly. Hmm. Doesn't work. Go for the thing here. No, I don't have gymnasium anyway. Oh, wait. I'm gonna call it for the night. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. We'll be here again tomorrow. Be well! Chill night.